A special documentary will be shown at the University of New Haven this week, telling the story of one of the most brutal killings of the civil rights struggle. After that documentary, the filmmaker who put together the untold story of Emmett Louise Till will discuss the project. News 8's Keith Coons has more in this week's Keith's Corner. Many who know a great deal about Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and Rosa Parks might not be as familiar with the name Emmett Till, but the Chicago teenager's murder was one of the pivotal events in the civil rights struggle. The relevance of it now, um, again, as relevant now as it was 60 years ago. A special documentary about Till's killing co-sponsored by the West Haven Council on the Arts and the Black Student Union at the University of New Haven, will be shown on the UNH campus this Thursday night. It was 1955 when Till traveled from Chicago to Money, Mississippi to spend the summer with relatives. While there, he allegedly whistled at a white woman and was later killed. During the middle of the night, um, Emmett Till was uh, pulled out of his cousin's house uh, by a couple of white men, uh, subsequently brutally beaten and, and murdered to the point that I believe the only way they could identify him was based on a ring on his finger. Till's mother insisted on a public funeral and pictures of the teenager's disfigured body were published in Jet Magazine sparking national outrage. In a phone interview, filmmaker Keith Bochiam told me that Till's murder was the catalyst of the civil rights movement. His documentary features rare interviews with members of Emmett Till's family. In the movie, you will see um, a number of interviews with uh, relatives uh, people who were there at the time, including uh, Emmett Till's mom, who he subsequently became very, very good friends with and, and almost like a member of the family. The untold story of Emmett Lewis Till will be shown February 26th at the Bucknell Theater with a discussion with the filmmaker after it's aired. In Keith's Corner, Keith Koontz, News 8.